Hey guys, this is Dr. Marshall Lemoyne with the Clinical Pattern Recognition Team. I'm here with Luke, and today we're going to talk about abdominal bracing and ground reaction forces during a drop jump landing. I do ASPT published an article earlier this year that showed with full abdominal bracing, to kind of push out into my fingers, Luke, hold that. You go ahead and perform your drop jump landing. That with a full abdominal contraction, it actually increased ground reaction forces. We all know that abdominal brace is important and helpful for patients with low back pain. Uh, it's important to teach them how to brace when they return to function, such as bending, lifting. However, when they go back to sport or jumping, we want to make sure that we grade this properly. Right? The research showed that when they braced fully, the shock absorption was kind of diminished, meaning the knee now took out more of that stress. So, really, we only need 10% of the contraction. So, Luke, going to tighten only 10%, just enough, just enough to add a little bit of stability to your spine. Go ahead and do your drop jump again. And make sure you kind of still absorb with your legs, absorb with your hips. Good. So it's important to make sure we teach them the brace, because we know it helps with the stress, but make sure we match it to the function of trying to go back to. So if they're going back to athletics, we don't want them to contract fully. Not only does that impair their breathing, but it changes where they add their stress. So loop only 10% contraction, just gently push out. You don't need to squeeze hard. You can perform your jump drop landing again. Absorb shock with your legs. Stay classy, PTs. And that, stop, I'll have to figure it out. I need.